Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Wanted to do a quick video on the Neil Jones group measurement tool. It is not the only measurement tool out there in the universe. There's a few different ones. For a long time, I've been using this Sinclair. I'm not even sure if they sell it anymore, um, but that one has uh, been very useful and I've used it a lot. I've actually compared measurements from that tool to this tool, because um, this tool is used at our a lot of our short range bench rest group matches. I think I've also seen it used in long range uh, bench rest matches. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so it, this one is commonly in use at matches. Uh, it has a lot more functionality than uh, the Sinclair. The Sinclair I only use because it was inexpensive, uh, it's quick, um, and it measures the caliber that I normally shoot. Um, definitely this Neil Jones is capable of, of more. So um, if, if you get the, you know, the chance to you know, go with the sort of one that's more functional. This Neil Jones is definitely it. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, so um, when I called Neil, spoke to him on the phone, he asked me what calipers I had. I said, well, Mitotoyo. He said, okay, good. Because uh, when we designed this thing, we had Mitotoyo, you know, um, calipers. So should fit. So all that to say, uh, you may want to call them if you're concerned about whether they'll fit your calipers. That way you can figure that out in advance not get the product, try to put it on and get frustrated not being able to put it on. Uh, probably good just to have that conversation first. And uh, anyway, so essentially it came in three parts, uh, packaged really well. Uh, thank you, Neil. Uh, one of the parts was this thing here, this metal, and then this, uh, uh, I'm not sure exactly what material it is, but it's a pretty solid, clear material. Um, and that is screwed on to this metal block. And so this metal block then attaches to your calipers. There's two screws here that have spikes that then go into your calipers and uh, clamp down pretty well. And you think you may be able to see the spikes there. And then you're able to see your digital readout pretty easily. Um, see, so now you can see the, the digital readout. It's not covering anything. That's why it's cut out this way. Just kind of fit right there so you can easily see your readout. Um, and then the other part is this magnifying glass that just essentially screws onto the back of this, or you know, whatever you consider the orientation of this piece here. And it has a um, little thumb screw there you can loosen to move the magnifier from any number of these uh, hole sizes. So you have a 22 caliber hole size, 6 millimeter, 6.5 millimeter, 7 millimeter, and 30 cal holes. Okay, so that's a great thing about this one is you have all of those different calibers that this one tool can, uh, can, can measure. And so you can see the holes in the different sizes. There's also a line here down the middle of them, and that line functions to help you line up uh, the group, and I'll show you how that's done here in a second. And so what I, and then the last piece is this one here, and it goes on the, this top blade right here, and it's held by these two screws, which again are spiked down onto the tool. Very robust, not moving, <laughs> not moving at all. Uh, it's on there good. Everything is solid, very solid. That's the first thing that strikes me about this is it's very solid. Um, and so what I did at the outset was I set this magnifier to go right over the six millimeter hole because I shoot a lot of six millimeter and that, I mean, by default, I'm probably gonna do some testing with six millimeter, but I do shoot sevens and thirties once in a while. And so, but it's very simple to move it. You just loosen that and slide it. See how it has that slot in there? So you're able to sort of move this thing pretty easily. Um, but right now I automatically set it at six because I knew I was going to be shooting a match this last weekend. And I knew that I was going to take the targets home and kind of just start practicing um, using this thing uh, with those targets. See how me and the <laughs> statistician at the match square up. Um, so anyway, that's, that's it right there. Now, the package did not come with instructions on how to mount it. So I'm hoping that this video uh, will be helpful for that purpose. Uh, you know, when I looked... At this thing online, the picture that's on Neil Jones's website, it looked pretty straightforward. So that's probably why it doesn't come with instructions because it seems pretty straightforward how to assemble this thing. 
Um, so yeah, anyway, got it assembled. It's pretty rock solid. The uh, magnifying glass comes with a cover. This cover is a little bit loose, so um, I'll probably have to put a put something in there to hold it in place, like snap it in place. But, um, it, you know, that's the cover for it. And so what you do is you take your target and you find it's, it's a tool that measures edge to edge with the circle. So you're going to put you know, the calipers down on one side of the circle, the farthest side to the left, and then you're gonna move it to the next uh, area of the hole to the right side, to the farthest right edge of whatever hole that is. Okay, so that's essentially how you do it. You, you first, you find where is the widest possible diameter. Now in this group, it's hard because this is a small group. I probably should have used a bigger group to illustrate. Let me see if I can grab my, my other targets here real quick okay yeah here we go um so like this one's pretty easy to determine that bullet is the farthest from that bullet so these are the farthest ones apart um you don't really need any special device to see to, to measure that to make that determination it's pretty obvious and so what you do then is you find something uh, nice and solid uh, a ruler essentially and you put your ruler down and then you create your line and your line is from center of your farthest left to the center of the farthest right and set that line there. And then what you do with your tool, you determine, okay, it's a six millimeter hole, okay? All of your competitors should um, declare what millimeter uh, bullet they're shooting. Uh, if they don't, you could, you could probably tell, I mean, you could tell the difference between a six and a 30 for sure, or a 22 and a 30, right? But um, you should have them declare that and we, we should know what they're shooting. And so line up the six, and I'll try to get close here to show you. Give me a second here. Um, actually, maybe turning this light out helps. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, that does. Okay, good. So you get this line here in the etching, this etched line. Line it up with the line that you drew on there, and then go over and put your six millimeter hole to perfectly around that circle with the left edge, you know, the dark part of that circle, the, the circle on, that's etched should just touch the dark part of the edge, okay? And then what you do is, here's a, here's a cool thing about this, you press down on this thing, and when you press down on that, <laughs> a little spike goes down and spikes this part into the paper, okay? Check that out. That's pretty cool, huh? So, so that enables you to kind of hold in place. So, so you go, you line your line up, okay, lines up. You go to your six millimeter circle, you place it over the circle to the farthest, to the left, press down on the spike, and then you open the calipers up slowly till you line up the six millimeter hole to the six millimeter hole all the way to the right. Okay, and then you let go, and voila, that's your number, 0 0.530. This one was measured 0.519. So just a little bit of variance there, um, probably because actually I didn't even like look through the, hold on, let me actually look through here to line up the first hole. I was just kind of making sure my cell phone was lined up there and I didn't actually line it up perfectly myself, but let me do that here. Okay, there we go lined up hit the butt or press the little punch the little needle thing that pops out and holds it in place and then bam go over to the right hole all the way and okay yeah it's about 515 so yeah that that's pretty close pretty close um so anyway um like anything you're gonna get measurement error i mean measurement error is a phenomenon that is ubiquitous um it, it's nothing against the statistician uh, there are just different ways that you can make errors in measurement okay so just be mindful of that um and you know in some cases in some matches you're able to contest a measurement okay um they you know some matches tell you the 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 um the target has to stay, you know, uh, up on the 
uh, target wall until you're done shooting, you know. Um, in those cases, you can't pull it down and then use one of these to confirm whether you, th you think the person measured right. I do see some people that'll grab like a dime or some some known sized material and put it next to the group to sort of say, okay, was that measurement right? Um, you know, but yeah, you can't just, in a lot of sanctioned matches, just pull it off and then use something like this to measure. But um, certainly there, there are some matches that allow you to contest too. So if you're looking at it and you're like, oh, wait a minute, that's not a 519, that's a, you know, a, a low four or something, then you can go ahead and contest. You probably have to pay some money and then an independent uh, measure, uh, statistician measure would come in and measure it. Uh, I've seen that happen before. Um, this one is certainly, I think, true. Um, so anyway, um, that's essentially how you use it. So you look through here, find six, find the hole, you know, that, that that's right above the six and then line it up on the, on the hole that's to the farthest left. Here, let me see my, okay, there we go. Well, actually, first line up your line. Make sure your line is lined up because that's gonna keep you on track when you go across. So line that puppy up. I'm not lining it perfectly because I'm actually just looking at this through my cell phone. <laughs> Press this down, holds it in place, and then go ahead. Oh, let me see if I can get you a better. Yeah, there we go. And then just slide this puppy to where the hole, the six hole is covering the other one, okay? And you, with practice and with looking carefully through the magnifying glass, you know, you should be able to get your mojo, you know, figure out, you know, where the edges are. Again, you know, I just did this kind of looking through the cell phone and part, you know, partially and also kind of looking down at the hole here. And I'm very close, 0.525, this measured a 0.519. So, yeah, you're, you're going to get pretty good, reliable measurement out of this tool. Um and that's how you do it, essentially. Um, so there you go. There's the Neil Jones tool. Again, uh, you know, you can check out Neil Jones's website. Contact him if you're, you know, wondering if this tool will fit your calipers and everything. But there it is. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please come on over to Patreon. We are having a great time there, doing a lot of really good uh, interaction. Uh, we're kind of sort of out of the uh, high volume forum scene where you know people are just allowed to post any old strange stuff um we have good interactions going on there on patreon a good group of people uh we've done a lot there uh we actually have you know another member that spun off did his own patreon we, we're collaborating uh, on uh, developing some some you know some tooling to help the shooting community and other stuff so it's been great so i highly encourage coming on over there and joining um, as a member all right everyone take care uh, we'll see you again